Okay, so um, let's try to predict. So we're predicting what the um, maximum wavelength that uh, this compound should absorb it. Okay, so we have the these values that they've given us for particular groups that could be on our molecule and would additively make that wavelength longer than what it is. Okay? So the first thing I want you to notice is this conjugated double bond system. Okay? So it's a non-cyclic conjugated double bond. And with that, it starts at 217 nanometers. Right? If you see here, we have that situation here. So we can start our problem at 217 nanometers. Okay, so that's the beginning wavelength of this molecule. Okay. Um, you also see that it says add five nanometers for every alkyl group that is present. Well, if you present, and what it's saying is present on this system here. Okay. So if we look here, right, there's that conjugated system. But we've got here two alkyl groups on that conjugated system. Does everybody see that? Okay, so because we have two of them, it's going to be 2 times 5, which is 10 nanometers. So that's attributing, attributable to those two alkyl groups there. Are there any questions on that portion? Okay. Also, 5 nanometers should be added for every time you see an exocyclic double bond, okay? Exocyclic means outside of the cyclic portion of the molecule, okay? So you see right outside you've got this exocyclic double bond right there. So we're going to add 5 more nanometers to this. So again, it's an additive effect. So all of these things add up together. So 5 plus 7, of course, 2, 1, 3, 2. So you would expect that to be 232 nanometers. And let's see if we get the right 232 nanometers. Okay. So it's just analyzing the compound and then adding whatever mm -hmm. you So it's an additive effect of all of the substituents that are off of the general compound itself. Okay? So if we look here, we start at this general portion, right? Because we've got this um, non-cyclic double bond, conjugated double bond system, and then just adding the stuff to that. Okay? Any other questions? That was a good question. Any other questions about this? So why is the ring count as two alkyl groups and what, like, instead of something else, like, a, a number for a ring? Because it's, it would just be like if you had something like this. Mm -hmm. That's two alkyl groups too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like one alkyl group or anything like that, right? It's, this double bond doesn't know anything that's happening over here. It just knows what's connected to it, okay? So if... If I wanted to analyze this molecule and this molecule, I might think that, well, they almost would have the same uh, uh, UV bits. We'll, we'll do this other molecule right now. Why don't we do that? Okay, so let's kill this video. Similar, yeah, well, let's not give it away. Let's do another video, okay?